7.94 miles, 7 minutes, 38 per second average pace uh, over that distance in the Nike Zoomfly SP. Uh, now, some of those uh, miles I ran faster than others. I tried to really put the shoe through a couple of different paces, and that's mainly because I got a lot of comments about this shoe that you have to run fast in it. And it's comments like that that really, I think, is the main reason, one of the main reasons why I slept on this shoe. It originally released, released the Zoom Fly anyway, released last year in 2017. These SP versions, I believe, started coming out uh, early this year, 2018. I'm not exactly sure on the release dates on though those, but they never really interested me and because the main reason was I didn't really feel like I was fast enough to run in them. Uh, I felt like they were more of a statement shoe. Uh, I remember one having a conversation with my running buddy about them a little while ago last year and feeling like I really couldn't wear these because if you wore those to like a race or something, you really just had to show up if you were going to do that and I wasn't ready to make that kind of statement. I'm still not ready to make that kind of statement now, but I think with a lot of things happening over the last year in terms of the running shoe world. This shoe isn't as much of a statement shoe anymore, uh, but it is, I thought, I did think it was worth a try because it, I was able to get it for 50% off at finish line uh, in this particular green color. Now, the first thing I'll note about this green color, it's way more green than it looks like. Uh, in any of the pictures. And so I thought this was basically going to be a mostly white shoe with like ghosted green accents to it. And uh, that's definitely not the case. This is a green uh, shoe. But one of the things that I did like about it uh, that's different than the regular Zoom Flies is that it doesn't have the huge Nike swoosh uh, along the side of the foot and into the toe box. It just has a little tiny one there and it has a little bit of a larger one on the medial part of the foot on your inner foot. And so I thought that's, this was a little bit more understated of a shoe for that reason. Uh, but to kind of bring up the flashiness back, uh, it's got that tr transparent material that's showing up in a lot of Nike shoes lately. Uh, and I wanted to give that a try as well. Uh, when I put it on, I had gray socks on today. They're not special running socks at all. It says Timberland on, on the top of the foot and you can definitely see that through when you're running in these. Um, so the transparent material is interesting. It does make you have to step up uh, your socks a little bit in terms of how nice they are, which is not something that I usually think about. Um, but on the other hand, I was worried that the, the clear or the transparent material was gonna be really, um, hot or really uncomfortable, but uh, I didn't notice it to be so. It's not ventilated by any means, but it doesn't It doesn't feel like it's like a plastic tarp, which is what kind of like the concern that I had. So it is somewhat breathable, air can flow through it. So uh, that wasn't too big a concern. I did take it through a couple of puddles today um, and the shoe did just fine. Some other kind of interesting things to note, uh, the green on the outsole is again, very, very green, um, much greener than I thought it was gonna be when I was looking at the photos online. Um, some other interesting detailing, this thing, this kind of cage looking thing on the side, I was worried that that was gonna be almost like a hard plastic or a semi soft plastic, but it's, um, it's really flexible. Um, it's almost like, it's uh, almost like a stretchy elastic. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Because um, it definitely moves with you a little bit. Uh, but that I thought that might cause a little bit of pain or discomfort. I didn't even notice it uh, while I was going on my run. So that wasn't a concern. Um, on the side of this, there's print on all of the Zoom, well, at least on the Zoom Vaporfly 4% and on the Zoom, uh, Pegasus Turbo. There's text on here. On this one, the text says, Nike running innovation concept Zoom Fly design version 7.2. So that's a little bit different than what it says on the Turbo. And so I just thought that was interesting. I kind of assumed it would be the same kind of, you know, engineered to the exact specifications of elite runners or whatever, whatever they, they say on the Turbo. Um, and then on this side, they have that little bit of detailing uh, for uh, the breaking two attempt. And it says Nike Racing on the, on the back. And it has Nike Racing on the insole as well, which is also very, very green. Overall, the shoe felt great. But there's definitely a case of 
two shoes going on in here. And uh, when you put this shoe on, everything from like here back just feels like a regular shoe. It kind of reminds me, I mean, it's uh, my understanding of that the Nike Zoomfly SP is that there is a React kind of core in here. Uh, around that is Lunar Lawn, and also in here is a carbon infused nylon plate, not the carbon fiber plate that's in the Vaporfly 4%, but a carbon infused nylon plate. What exactly is the difference? I'm not really sure, but uh, that's what's going on in this shoe. So uh, my understanding is what I'm feeling in this shoe is Lunar Lawn. And uh, from here to here, it feels like kind of just a regular shoe. It reminds me a lot of the Epic React in terms of the feel here. Maybe a little less uh, springy than uh, the React foam is, uh, but that's what I feel back here. But then as soon as you get from here forward, it just feels like the shoe drops off or disappears. I mean, it looks like just a regular shoe, but in the toe feel from here on, it's as if like there's no foam and it just chops off. And so when you're running at a slower pace, when I was running at kind of my marathon paces, I felt like I was running in this area. When I tried to pick it up and I had one mile that I was running between like six and a half to 650 per mile. Uh, so a little bit of a faster pace, kind of like in my five to 10K race pace area, a little bit slower than those. But in that area, I felt like I was in this section of the shoe. And when I was there, I just, that's when I felt like the, I felt like a little bit of pushback from that, uh, the, the plate, or maybe it was just purely the geometry of the shoe, I'm not sure, but it felt like a completely different shoe once I was up more on my toes. And I, there, I could see that there's material here and there's foam here, but it just feels like there isn't anything. And so it just feels like you're almost, like you're standing at the edge of a stair and the ball of your foot is at the edge of the stair. And then when you tip board a little bit, there's just nothing there and you're kind of falling. So it's a little bit different than the Pegasus Turbo where I felt like the Pegasus Turbo kept like digging me, like pushing me forward and making me have a really short stride. This was different in that uh, I didn't feel like it was accelerating my stride, but it was in a different way encouraging me to run faster. It's a hard kind of sensation to explain. Um, but it's uh, a definitely a very different ride than the Pegasus 35 and very different than the Pegasus Turbo. Uh, it's just something that you do have to try. And I'm beginning to understand now why when I was making those Turbo videos, everyone was asking for the comparison to the Nike Zoomfly SP. They're very, very different shoes. Uh, this one is a little bit heavier than the Turbo, but it also at the same time is a lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. Uh, the materials all up in the upper are quite minimal. There's a little bit of padding going on right around here on the back of the heel uh, for comfort. Uh, and overall, um, I didn't feel like this shoe felt very tight around the foot. I didn't, it, it kind of reminded me of the Ultra Boost in that way. That shoe, I just don't feel like, an, like I can ever get it tied tight enough. I mean, I can tie it as tight as I can tie it. I can tie it as tight as I can tie it, but it still doesn't feel like tight on the shoe on my foot, like a Pegasus might. Uh, I kind of felt the same thing here, but when you're running, it doesn't feel like it's loose or you're going to slip at all. Uh, the stack height here is pretty high, or at least it looks pretty high. I didn't feel like I was unstable or uh, going to tip over by any means either when I was running at Slower speeds and slower speeds for me today were a little bit under uh, eight minute miles. I, I think I, most of my slower miles were at like 750, which is faster than my marathon pace, which is why I do this. But, um, and so like, I think that's about five minutes per kilometer uh, or faster down. I was, so I was in like the four to five minute kilometer range and uh, just to get a different sense of what it would feel like to run with those. And so I definitely was able to keep up faster paces. Uh, and, but it was a different feel. With the Pegasus Turbo, I felt like it was, you know, I'm accidentally running faster. With this one, I had to think about maintaining pace. Uh, and I could tell that because there's really the, the kind of the two shoe feeling going on here. I felt like when I was running marathon paces, I was in the back. And I felt like when I was really wanting to push it uh, to go into five and 10K paces, I was really up in the front and it was a different feel of a shoe. And so that was just uh, a unique, feeling for it. Uh, but my concern is, and this is why I can't, I, I think this first impressions video is really just first impressions and I need to run in it more to get a good feel for what this shoe's doing, is that uh, 
I felt like in my right foot, as early as mile four, but definitely by mile, about mile six or seven, uh, it felt like the shoe was getting a dead spot for me right in the ball of my foot. Uh, very similar to what happens when I run in an Epic React. The early miles feel great, and then after a certain point, I just don't feel like it can keep up uh, in terms of the, the cushioning in the foam that's going on there. And so uh, that's a little bit unusual. I, I think that's, it doesn't feel like that can be the right result because this is a shoe that's been extremely popular with marathoners and half marathoners who are all much faster than me and are all logging a lot more miles than I am. Uh, and so I'm wondering if there's something going on with my foot. I've been running a ton lately, some of the most miles I've ever been running. And also the previous day, I had a really long travel day. I had to wear my suit all day in my uh, dress shoes. And so on a plane, a couple of different planes running through the airport. And so, I want to attribute it to that, but at the same time, the first impressions are, you know, the first impressions, and I did have that concern. So that's something I'm going to be keeping an eye on. I'm going to run these a couple more times for some faster runs, at least marathon pace kind of runs, uh, just to make sure that what I'm feeling is what I'm feeling and not just a fluke and how I was feeling uh, on this particular day. But uh, the main reason I got this other than the price was that uh, I wanted to have something to compare it to. I'm hoping that another Zoom Fly releases later this year, uh, right around marathon uh, racing season time. And so I wanted to have a comparison point. And also so many of you guys had talked about uh, how much you guys liked the Zoom Fly when we were talking about the Pegasus Turbo. And so that was something else that I just wanted to be able to understand what you guys were talking about. So that way I can make uh, just some uh, so I can have more information as some more shoes start getting released towards the end of the year if they do get released and I think they will overall uh, like this shoe it's impressive uh, and I'm going to take it for some more runs I mean I have some other concerns about it but um, as far as initial pressures go those are my thoughts uh, let me know if you've run in the zoom flies or the zoom fly SPs uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you feel that kind of like two shoe sensation too. And if you've been using them just for racing or if you've been using for uh, more of a daily trainer for your marathon training, if that's what you're doing, I'd love to hear from you guys down there in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?